Rome and I are on another road trip. We're going to King of the Hammers. So, see you guys there. All right, first stop, here go, here go, Brandon. <laughs> Let's roll. All right, we're at camp number one. Sorry, it's really bright. Uh, I'm sleeping in the Jeep tonight. It's a new setup. I uh, got rid of the rooftop tent to get a different style of roof rack. And we got a new dog. So, it doesn't work with that. I'll show you here. Sorry, it's going to be bright. Alright. Oh, maybe help if I uh, don't lock my Jeep while I'm trying to do this. But, so there's lots of crap going on. It looks really unorganized because it is. Um, since I'm only sleeping in this setup one night, I have my big uh, ice fishing tent over up top. But, so I got my negative 25 degree bag and a hammock set up from over there on my grab handle to over here. And I have it roped up to there. I mean, that's just really unorganized and I don't even know or remember how to get it off, but it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't impede the the gap here, sorry. The gap in between the window, so when I lay in it, it doesn't affect the window at all. It's kind of nice. So I'm gonna turn the Jeep on and let it get warmed up and crawl in here and call it a night. So, see you guys in the morning. This is it. Hammocks up there and over over there, Brandon's outside getting in his bed. This is uh <laughs> actually super comfy. I'm I'm like really happy right now. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, all packed up. <laughs> it looks a little bit nicer now. I just kind of tossed everything around last night. Brandon's getting packed up. Looks like he's just getting the ladder down and he's ready to roll too. Whoo! It is chilly outside. Haven't uh, have been winter camping a little bit, <laughs> so I haven't been uh, acclimated to it like I was last year. But we're uh, just getting ready to roll. So it's lunchtime. Pit stop. I'm trying to figure out what we're having for lunch. So we're piecing together apple, uncrustables. <laughs> And some meats. Oh, it's right in my back. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, almost to Las Vegas. I think we got like less than 200 miles left, and we'll be in Vegas. So it's been a been a pretty easy ride this morning, though. I'm just cruising right along. You stop every 20 minutes. Every every hour we stop. <laughs> well, because the gas is few and far between. Yeah, we, we're trying to make sure we fill up about halfway every time just to be safe. So and also we. Woo! Let's go. We just gotta go find our uh, our buddies at camp. Good freaking luck. There was a crap load of people. Sorry, this is poor poor quality, but this was the turn to go down to uh, the Hammer Town. So, woo! Water crossing. Hmm. All right. Burgers. No cheese. Forgot. PTSD flashback. Oh, oh gosh. Nah. Uh, how was the drive today, Bran? It was terrible, but we're here. Oh, it no. wasn't actually, the drive wasn't that bad. The honestly. part in Vegas was the bad part. Okay, we both agree that we both hated Vegas, so uh, I don't see us going back there anytime mm -hmm. soon. No bachelor parties in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Bachelor party here, maybe. I've got a bachelor party out. I'll do it here. Okay. <laughs> we can come here. But. We're gonna nom on these burgers since uh, it's our first good meal today. Oh, you can get He's only a you bitch because you don't have one. Morning, everybody. Oh, it was uh, loud, fun, and I got two fireworks blown up on me. One like hit my jacket right here, blew up right in front of my face. The other one, I leaned forward after that, 
in it. Oh, that is a freaking XJ on 40s. Sorry, that was distracting. Should have got that on video. And then the other one hit my chair and then hit me in the back. But, we got our coffee going. And, uh, all my friends are out here. <laughs> Brandon's over there trying to go to the bathroom in the little potty tent that we brought. And then the guys are in there all just chilling, so. Um, I'm with the guys from uh, True Automotive. And, uh, good group of guys. That thing is a freaking tank that I'm hoping to get a good ride in today, so we'll see. Let's say I have, like, the perfect view of all the rigs coming in. Let's show you. This is just a non-stop parade of people. Oh, there's the stop. There's another one. Alright, getting ready to go over and uh, watch some of the races, so... I gotta get my mask on so I can breathe a little better. It's freaking so dusty out here. Whew. All right, so this is uh, this is what Hammer Town's about, guys. We just sit here, hurry up and wait all the time. Everywhere you go, you just hurry up and wait. These guys brought a U-Haul out here. And this guy wants in front of me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon having a good old time on his bike trying to get used to driving in the sand. It's pretty interesting. It's a lot different than uh, what we normally do on the channel. But this is something that Brandon and I talked about last year, so it's pretty cool to be able to actually get out here and uh, do it. So, uh, there is just people freaking absolutely everywhere. It's insane how many people are out here. There's probably close to 200,000 people out here already. It's just so massive and wide open, so yeah. We're gonna go try and catch some of the race right now. So we'll see. Uh oh, we're doing what you Yeah. Bronco or Toyota, you guys let me well, know. Well I guess it makes sense if that's like paired together. Like I don't know, I don't think that's a song. Which one is it? Bronco. Bronco. Let's play Bronco. Turn that off. This thing is absolutely massive. Dang, that looks sick inside. <laughs> Look in the inside. <laughs> Didn't take you long, Brandon. <laughs> Bow down. <laughs> Dude, this thing is insane. I saw it last night. Yeah, good thing, kid. They maxed out their own floor. He's missing his winch line. This guy needs to get the feet back. Oh, these are those like special straps. Yeah. Here's the Bronco I was showing you guys last night. We have permission to look inside. Look at how big that door is. That's a super huge door. and then those right there. It's pretty sick. Oh yeah. Got all their pack out gear.
currently at the uh, Bill Stein booth with Light Bright. I'm just wandering around. They got a line. People want to say hi, so. I came back to the Jeep to get some uh, lunch going. Pretty insane the amount of builds here. Like, Alrighty, we are back at camp. Uh, I gotta charge my phone up. We gotta, uh, excuse me, get some food in us besides that little peanut butter smuckers. Oh, good God, a mess, sorry. Um, I got some new solar panels we're trying out. Uh, <laughs> it's a little dusty and cloudy. They're not, they're not pulling in much. Excuse brand and changing. But, uh, I mean, pulling in, 20 watts and this and I just plugged it in it should it'll probably get up to like 25 I think but pulling in 20 watts just to recharge the battery to 100% not bad we're gonna decide what we're eating for lunch so uh give me a minute and I'll uh you know, get my phone charging and stuff so adios all right we're gonna go exploring a little bit uh we got a campsite that we're gonna try and find that we're gonna go to in two days so you figure might as well just we got nothing else to do I'm getting ready to pack up the solar um, <laughs> right now I'm only hitting two watts, so I'm just going to unplug it real quick. Uh, there's literally no sun anywhere, but yeah, I'm like, there's, it's basically useless <laughs> until we can get some sun, so it's really nice how easily it packs up though, look at that. Tokyo. Woo. Oh, made it. You ready, Brand? Oh yeah, look at look at Brandon's setup. That's the most organized you've ever been. <laughs> it's a, a facade because the propane tanks hide a mess behind. <laughs> right? Everything's a mess. This is gonna be really loud, sorry. But uh we're just out here looking for our uh, campsite. We ran into the uh King Racing testing site it looks like they're doing a they have like this whole loop right here there's a bunch of people on the track so i think we're good to keep going but we'll we told them we'll stay out of the way dang all right tonight you can actually see a little better let me turn that down a little bit eh, maybe not as good as i thought oh there we go you can see chocolate thunder it's absolutely lit up Tons of people up there. Let's go. Alright, so our neighbor dude has a crawler. I'm gonna go right with it. All the way to Chocolate Thunder. Let's go.
Here's like, wait, pay attention to me. Oh, push him, push him. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, now he's, now he's upside down. This is gonna be interesting. Get this guy over. I think he is. <laughs> oh my god. Keep her going away. Watch out, kid. That front's not holding. Just go park it and come back down. <laughs> Somebody said, hey, you want a beer? So he's going. Hey, look out. You gotta get ready to fuck over. You guys are in the trail. Get out of the trail, dummies. Yo, get out of the way. That Jeep. Yoda. What is that, Marty McFly? <laughs> yeah, it is. Take the high line. 
Get it. Oh, you waited too long. That front locker's weird. No, I think it's like an eating locker. It sucks. Oh, man. That's, is that a blunt? That's a blunt. I smell. Oh, yeah. I was like, mm, I'm, I'm getting I, high I with smell, you. I smell weed. <laughs> See how that like catches and then does it? Yeah. He uh, needs like, to he needs to gas it before, before though, right? No, I think it's a I think it's an yeah. e-locker or something. Yeah. For an well, the Rubicon has front and rear stock now. Oh right. He's yeah. kind of locked. You want that way? Uh oh. Can't lock it, I think, unless he's like he has to roll forward a little bit. It's an air locker. It should be locked. It's an E locker. Oh, E, E. Yeah. So I think he has to roll forward just a hair. But he needs to back up and then go I mean, for uh, it. A, I mean, that's a four wheel drive. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right there, dude. Fucking go. Look at my man. Look at him. You put your leg like that? Yeah, he's, he's like, You're not all gonna right. Make that. <laughs> You're not gonna eat. You thought, and then you did this. He's a, he's a big boy. Your leg ain't going. Your body's not coming with your leg. That's a big boy. Passenger. His locker's not on. Sorry. Shit. What's up with his front locker? Here they go. You should spend money on the lockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever bring a car up here? That's... Yeah, just break that. Break that passenger side. Okay, at this point, we've seen the Synergy Jeep. Struggle enough, but they finally made it. So we're deciding after this one, we've been out here all night. Uh, we're gonna go pack it in, go hang out by the fire back at camp, have some drinks before bed. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Part two will be out here shortly.